Hi, <laughs> welcome, and I want to apologize. We've had a couple of mix-ups here, and um, I actually thought I was in the session, but it wasn't live, so I'm sorry about that, you guys. Thank you for hanging in there and waiting, and um, what I'm going to do right now is uh, go over how this session works. It's Seek and You Will Find, and you can ask me a question and type it in on the right side of the screen on that panel there on the right. And then um, I'll give you an answer, but I'll answer you in the form of a healing. And I'll give everybody a healing at the same time. So you can go ahead and start to write your questions in on that panel on the right. And then if you want to ask a question anonymously, you can... Um, Text me on my cell number, and that's 702-245-2099. Okay, again, thanks, you guys, for hanging in there. I know every once in a while we have uh, things just go haywire, and this was my fault. I was actually in the session ready to roll at 7, and what helped me was I started reading your guys' notes, and I realized that I didn't actually... Um, there's a lot of buttons, and I didn't actually hit the live event, so now we're live. Thank you, you guys. Okay, so I have um, a couple of requests that I've already looked at. Let's see. So one of them is, um, spiritually, how do you see my immune system and overall health? I feel great, a little digestive issues, but with all this talk about Delta virus, etc., should I be doing something extra? like turning off the TV, <laughs> which I like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give um, everybody a healing on their immune system. That was a great request, thank you. But before I start, I'm going to set the energy with a prayer. As we cleanse and heal the temple of the soul, may it be with the blessing of divinity that it shine its countenance upon us and bring us peace in body, mind, and spirit, amen. Okay, I'm going to start with your immune system. Um, there, it's hard for me to see the energy, the color of the immune system, like in its wellness right now. There's a lot of energy um, kind of in streaks, whites, grays. I'm going to start grounding that. And, um, and just so that you know, I'm just using a symbol for your immune system. And these are rows. And I'm just grounding it. Because so I want to tell you guys how I'm doing these healings because you can be doing them too. Uh, there's some energy in the crown chakra that needs to come off that has to do with the immune system. There's um, unconscious energy coming out. To the person that uh, made this request, I'm gonna take some brown energy out of your intestines. There's kind of like a white fibrous energy in the immune system that's causing fatigue. And I'm trying to clear that out. Oh, that was good. That cleared out really quickly. Um, there's also, like some of you have anesthesia stuck in your immune system. That's starting to come out. Uh, 
Now I'm starting to see what the color is. It's quite bright, like a bright yellow, almost yellow gold. That's what we want to see. It is a bright yellow gold now. I'm going to go ahead and fill that space in. Okay, and that that um, question leads me to something that I've wanted to do, and um, it has to do with helping you collect up your healing energy because of everything that's going on, on around the globe right now. I was looking at how much of your energy is going out to um, COVID, how much of your healing energy is in different places like Russia and Afghanistan. So I'm going to um, take a moment right now and help you all call your healing energy back. You little healers, you. Yeah, this is really just like collecting your energy up off the globe and it's coming from everywhere. And what's interesting about this gold sun that I'm gathering is it's really dense. Like your healing energy is really vibrant. It's, it's a really dense sun. All right, I'm bringing that in, filling you all up. Okay, very good. All right. Um, I'm looking at another question. Is it, is it a, is it profitable for me to move out of my apartment and find, I think that's how it's written. Is it profitable for me to move out of my apartment and find a roommate? I'm primarily thinking of doing this to save money. Okay, let me take a look at this. One of the things that I see, and, and I think I'm going to do this healing on everyone, is that um, you are a little, I hate to say stuck, but part of the energy that makes you think like you have to move out is some survival energy stuck in your first chakra, and it's affecting your ability to create. And um, you could move out, but what I see for you in particular, is that if you do do that, you have to be very clear that you're the one that's going to set the energy for your place if you share it with a roommate, which I, um, you're a strong crown chakra, so you can do that. But that's something that you want to think about when you blend a household with other people. Somebody in the household has to set the energy for the house. And um, if you are sensitive to energy, you want to be the one to do it so that you know what the energy is set like. So I'm going to give everybody a healing to the first chakra now for survival energy to clean that out of your money space. So a lot of the energy that's coming out initially, and I just want to say this, this, this is with everyone. This isn't just about the person that asked the question, but um, the energy is like, um, like holding on to really, really tight. Just can't let go of anything. Oh, good, good. This energy is coming out.
um, there's a lot of energy of hardship, hard work, effort coming out. This will feel a lot better tomorrow. But the energy is like really sluggish and heavy. Good. A lot of energy is coming out of this. Now there is um, some white energy. This is a little bit of hopelessness. Not a lot. Just a little. Ground that. I would say the strongest energy that I'm working on in your, basically I'm working in your money space, you guys, <laughs> on your survival pictures. And the energy is like, like gripping, you know, like a death grip. <laughs> so while I'm working on this, take a big breath in, exhale, relax. Let me do my work. <laughs> Good, very good. All I really have to do is just tell you in the body what's going on. You change the energy immediately. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm going to go ahead and fill that space in with gold. Okay. All right. Very good. Now I'm going to move on. Let's see. Do we have... Oh, you know what? Before I go there, I have another question here. Okay. Okay. My husband has recently had an illness that had him in the hospital for six days at the beginning of August, and he is still recovering. We're not sure if this falls under our personal insurance or workman's comp. Can you clear the communication space between the doctors, state disability, and uh, health insurance, and our RNL carriers, workman's comp? Okay. Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> in answer to your question, yes. All right. Um, for you, I'm going to do it specifically for the communication space for all of those people. For the group, I'm just going to do a general healing in your communication space. Um, for the person, for the person that asked this question, there's so much anger in that communication space amongst the professionals, um, not not your husband, but amongst the professionals. Um, just a lot of anger and conflict for some reason. And, um, you know, I have, I have an idea. I want to show you the person. Hang on a second. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> um, I want to show the person who asked me this a way for them to heal this.
Okay. So here's how you would go about healing a situation like this. You would create a circle or a bubble for each person and put your husband in the center here. And then these would be all of the um, professionals and the insurance companies that um, you have to deal with. And these lines are communication lines between everybody with your husband in the center. And so um, you're going to bring all of these lines up to gold. You would ground, put a grounding cord underneath each of those circles and bring those lines up to gold. That's just so that you can do this on your own after tonight. It's really interesting how it, it, I see this like in life right now, how nobody wants to take accountability for anything. And I see a lot of that energy coming out of, of this formation that I'm working on right now. Okay, that's good. That's that's nice. Um, that whole space is coming up to gold. And best of all, your husband's energy is coming up to gold in that space. All right. Filling everyone in. Good. All right. Thank you for asking that question. Oh, this is a good question. What can you do to prevent and protect yourself from beings trying to jump into your body when you are sleeping? Had another sleepless night because I kept being awoken um, by my body rocking back and forth. Okay. Great question. It's really important to ground your body when you sleep at night. And um, you would put a line of energy, like a cord, from the base of your spine to the very center of the planet. And you can also ground your aura to the center of the planet before you go to sleep. I like to ground my actual bed and my bedroom. And sometimes I'll even put a bubble around my bedroom, like a gold bubble and ground that. So that's a great way to help prevent beings from coming into your space at night is um, grounding yourself, grounding your body. All right, I'm going to do a healing on this for everyone. What I'm doing is grounding your sleep space. Um, there's some energy for the person who asked this question, there's some energy coming out. That's like vibrating at the vibration of depression that is affecting you in your sleep, working on getting that out. You know, I just thought of something else, too, um, just something for you to think about the person that asked this question. Um, you might also consider a house healing. I do house healings as well. Um, if you have uh, energies that are really bothering you in your home or if your sleep is really being disrupted by being, sometimes it, it makes a big difference to come in and actually heal the house. So I just thought I'd 
um, mention that to you. So what I'm doing is showing all of you, spirit to spirit, how to kind of tuck yourselves in at night. <laughs> when I say that, I mean like tuck your aura in, ground yourself and get yourself prepared to go out onto the astral, but making your body safe. All right, I'm gonna fill that in with gold. Okay, that was a good question, thank you. Um, hang on a second here. Okay, I've got another another uh, question about sleep, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, just piggyback it right onto this one. I have trouble staying asleep at night, and I'd like to begin getting a good sound night's sleep. Any thoughts as to why it's been since nine years since Benjamin was born that I last sound uh, slept soundly. Okay. Take a look at this. Yeah, it has something to do with your third chakra and um, yeah, it does have to do with the birth of your son and it did something to your chakra. It um, changed how the chakra is set or um, I, I'm going to do a healing on this. There is a lot of really thick purple energy coming out of your third chakra. Um, there's some sort of emotion, uh, uh, emotional component that goes with this too. Uh, like um, from a period of being upset or stressed. Good. The good news is that you are starting to release that energy. It's pretty thick. It might take a couple days to come out, to be honest. It's moving pretty slowly. Yeah, I would um, keep a grounding cord on your third chakra. This is to the person who asked the question and um, keep it grounded for the next couple of days. There, it's starting to come back up to a nice, um, kind of a yellow-orange. Okay, I'm going to fill that in. All right. Um, let me check for any other questions here.
I have been invited to camp this weekend with an old friend. Is it a good idea to go? I can't tell if I'm repeating an old cycle in a negative way or it's a good idea and healing event with all involved. Um, when you ask about repeating old cycles, what I see is that the people that you're going to go with will be the same. And that if you don't want to repeat the cycle, it really has to do with you and how you set your energy for that weekend. What I see is that in the past, you haven't held your energy on your own. You've kind of matched where everybody else is. And that hasn't worked for you because that hasn't been um, an energy vibration that works for you. So my suggestion is, is if you go, just be very clear and very mindful of setting your crown chakra every day and paying attention to where you're holding your own energy and keeping it, you know, in affinity for you and not just matching somebody else to make them feel more comfortable at your own expense. So um, that, that actually, I'll do a healing on everyone that um, about not matching down to make somebody else feel more comfortable. And the biggest reason we do that, I just saw why we all as healers match down to, um, you know, rather than, uh, maintain our own energy is to avoid getting whacked, energetically whacked. So that's why you do that. And I'm not saying that's a good plan. I'm just saying that's what I'm seeing is why everybody um, does that is to avoid getting energy thrown at them. And that's what I'm doing the healing on is clearing that. The energy that I'm clearing is like, um, <laughs> I'm shaking my head because it's just so sad. <laughs> but all of us have this energy of people like, no, 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 come back down to where we are. Come down, come down, pull your energy down. Because it lights people up when you radiate your true light. So just remember that. And um, so I'm going to fill that space in with gold. That actually, in a roundabout way, was a was a good healing and a good request, so a good question. So thank you. All right, let me fill you all in with gold. I'm going to collect up some more of your healing energy. All right, I'm filling you in. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out the Seek and You Will Find. May it be with the blessing of divinity that this Seek and You Will Find session be complete. Amen. All right. Thank you for hanging in there with me tonight. I'm really glad you did so that we could get the healings done. Good Lord, I will work on this. <laughs> um, my announcement is... Uh, I, Monday, so just right around the corner, we have our soul support healing in the sanctuary, and it's called Summer Groove. It's really about clearing energy so that you can bring your enthusiasm back into your body and really enjoy the summer. So I look forward to seeing you Monday night, and thanks for joining me. I got my eyes on you. Have a lovely evening and a great weekend. Bye-bye.